Hello there and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I thought I'd share with you six of the biggest things that I try to remember each day as an artist. But before I do, I would like to share a little bit about this drawing. This is my first real drawing probably since college like 10 years ago. <laughs> Going through the mastery program at Milan Art Institute made me rediscover drawing. They introduced me to water-soluble graphite, which I am loving to use. It reminds me a lot like watercolor, except you can erase it, which is amazing. But I found out though, once I add water to it, it's quite hard to erase. If you'd like to try these out yourself, you can find a link to this graphite in the description of the video down below. I've been using water-soluble graphite in my travel log sketchbook a lot of mornings as a medium that I can use around my baby and while holding him while I'm at the kitchen table. <laughs> so it is easier than watercolor because I don't have to get out all of my watercolor paints and all of that. I can just have a few graphite pencils and a little cup of water and a brush and I'm good to go. It helps me create even if I can't actually go into my studio for a painting session. It's been hard adjusting to having a baby and being an artist. Most days I want to paint so badly, but I just can't because he needs me. And when I do paint during his nap, I feel guilty. Like I should be cleaning my cluttered house instead because my house is a total mess almost all the time, 24-7. <laughs> There's always something that needs to be cleaned or decluttered, but you know, that's just how it is right now in my life and that's okay. My mental health is important too, so I try to remember that painting is necessary for my health and my happiness. It helps me be a better mom and a better person. And actually, that's not even one of the six things I'm going to share with you. I should title this seven things to remember. <laughs> Anyways, here are the other things I try to remember each day as an artist. Remember that you're courageous. Creating art takes courage and sharing that art you create even more courage. Do you know how many people there are who want to create art, but they just don't? They're scared, they don't have supplies, they can't find the time to learn, and I can keep going. But you actually creating a work of art, that's amazing, and that is courageous. The second thing to remember is that your art is a gift. It's a gift to the world and to others, and we all need your art and the beauty that it radiates. Can you imagine the world without any art in it? It would be like a really sad, dark place. Art is one of the few lights we have in this dark world, and even if you aren't proud of the art that you make, it's still a gift. Maybe it doesn't seem like a gift to you, but it is for someone else. It is for someone out there. It's special that we can create something that once was nothing and give it life. You should celebrate how far your art has come. So this is the third thing to remember. It's important to reflect on where you and your art came from and see how much you've improved. Maybe you throw some old art pieces out that you never liked, but you should try and keep some of the artworks that you don't like so that later on you can compare them with your new art. You can also scroll to the bottom of your Instagram feed and see how much you've grown as an artist. I do this from time to time and it's amazing to see. We must remind ourselves how far we've come. This way we can be grateful for where our skills are now and be hopeful for where our skills will be in the future. The fourth thing to remember is that you don't need to share each artwork you create. I don't know about you, but I feel a lot of pressure on social media to share what I'm making, especially with reels or TikTok or whatever. But we need to remember that you don't have to share each artwork you create. You don't have to film, um, 
every time you paint to create a reel you don't have to it's free in a way to paint something for you and not share it with anyone else if you don't want to if you're painting something just to post to instagram pause for a moment and remember that you don't have to share it and that creating art just to post is creating for the wrong reasons Number five is the most important thing that I need to remember at this moment in my life and that is that there's a season for everything. Some of us can't create as much as others and that's okay. Many of us have demanding jobs, a family we need to care for, or other things that need to take priority in our life instead of our art. Just remember that your art will be there for you when you return. It's not going anywhere. Don't pressure yourself to grow your skills or make a ton of art if the season you're in is calling you to focus on other things. Remember that your art will always be there for you and take comfort in that. The sixth and final thing to remember each day is to stay true to yourself. Don't lose focus on who you are. Don't forget why you started to create in the first place. And remember to create the art you truly want to, not what others want or what is trending, unless you really want to. As you grow in your art journey, there will be times when you'll lose focus and the outside world might start to influence your art. And there will be times when you'll forget why you even started to paint. And there will be times when you'll veer off your path and forget how to find it again. So remind yourself daily of your art purpose, your why, and who you are as an artist. Thank you so much for listening to me and watching this video. I hope that it inspired you today. Let me know in the comments below what reminder you needed today. I'd love to know. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.